Morning guys, YouTube people of the world, everywhere. Alright, half fast 719. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, back at it. Back out here in Southern California. Got home this morning at about 2 o'clock a.m. And it is, I don't care, the sun's out time. Um, so today, I'm going to go pick up some steel. I'm going to go pick up some steel, some one inch tubing, um, some more angle iron. So that's one inch by one inch. I'll probably get a, I don't know, two inch or something. And uh, while I was out working, <clears throat> I was thinking, I don't know if it'll work. I don't think it'll work. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure it won't work. But I was thinking about a 55 gallon drum as wheel wells. Um, but I'm thinking ah, that might not work now. So, anyway, I gotta go get the weed whacker out of storage because my weeds are out of control. So when I was out working, kid was out here on the tractor, apparently. That's good. He was outside doing stuff. Running the tractor. Doing some work for me, I guess. Um, with the weeds and junk. So, um, yeah, I got to... Oh, I got too much stuff to do. I got no time to do anything. This, is, this weed whacker's been sitting here for I don't even know how long since we moved here. So I gotta see if this thing will even start. I'll probably just hose it all off. Um, add some fuel. Hopefully get this thing running. I don't even know if I have freaking line for it. I know I do somewhere, but it's somewhere. <laughs> that makes sense. So, I gotta do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, last night's drive-in was wasn't that bad. I wasn't tired at all. Um, I felt fine. I was listening to a podcast that my wife sent me. She sent me a podcast to listen to with uh, I don't know the guy's name um, man Rush Limbaugh maybe anyway talking about the economy and fuel and this whole pandemic thing so he's basically saying that <clears throat> what I was saying I was telling my wife and whatever and she's like oh you're just like this guy and basically uh, fuel Oil is going to get so low to where they're going to stop making it, producing it, and getting it in the United States that it's going to turn into, uh, it's going to be so cheap and so whatever that there's no where to store it, which is what is happening. Um, I guess ships are, ships are sitting out on the ocean um, full of crude oil and uh, don't have anywhere to put it and uh, what's going to happen is all these companies that all these oil companies they're all going to go under because there's no work because they can't pump anymore they say they don't have any room for it but out here in Southern California where I'm at how about where you're at well we got hundreds of thousands of, of acres that they could store it is, uh, I know the EPA will cry, but man, freaking get it, stick it in your little barrel, stick it in your tanker, and store it out here in the desert. Look at all the desert in front of me. You can put all that crude oil all right here. It's like four, 400 million barrels can sit right here. You know? Anyway. But they don't have anywhere to put it. They don't have anywhere to put it because... They don't want to put it anywhere because they want the 
economy to tank so far that the fuel and whatever so it'll drive up the prices because we're gonna have to buy it from uh, the Middle East Russia or whatever whatever um, and everything's just gonna go through the roof back like back in the 70s when it went from 20 something cents a gallon to to a dollar a gallon and people just couldn't afford it <clears throat> anyway whatever um, and he was just talking about how, um, like, I don't really get into politics or anything, but he was getting into how the Democrats are causing all this pandemic. And, uh, in, uh, Santa Paula County, uh, they were claiming for 85,000 people to have either the virus or to die. Maybe it was just for the virus from 50,000 to 85,000 people to have the virus. And supposedly, I think he was saying there's like, and you know, this is just one city, one county. Uh, that's where the 49ers are. If you watch sports, I don't watch sports, but anyway. Um, basically, he was saying this is all throughout the whole U.S. is they're hyping up all the numbers. It's all a bunch of hoopla. I'm not saying the virus is fake. The virus is real. It's a real deal. Um, but he was saying that I think in that county... 700 and something people died from the flu from September of last year till right now. And there's only been like, I want to say he said like 150 or maybe it was in 58 uh, deaths from the coronavirus. So the flu is way worse. Um, but yeah, he was also saying New York's pandemic is the problem because they left the trains, the buses, the subways, all that open for essential personnel. And uh, and they said they just jam pack like sardines in there. So um, anyway, that kept me awake. Um, yeah, I'm trying to buy a, a gate opener for uh, our gate so we don't have to get out and open the gate. I mean, my kid can just bloop, so my wife doesn't come out. I have to come out here and open the gate for him at, you know, four in the morning or whatever time. <clears throat> just in case people get stupid. Um. Anyway, I got a lot of things to do today. I should be sleeping, but I'm not really tired. I'm sure I pro it probably won't kick in till this afternoon, and then I'll just crash. All right, I'm back. I gotta wash the Audi. Stupid little animals crawling on it. As you can see. When I go back, I'm bringing a shotgun. This little animal. I think it's a raccoon. Because, uh, um, yeah, I think it's a raccoon. But, whatever. I'll probably have to wax it. It's probably why it was slipping and sliding. Because of all the wax I always use on these. So, I'll go take care of an animal. Um,. But yeah, so got oil for the Audi. This is how I order it. I order it in, order it in five, four gallons, four one gallon jugs. Um, this is uh, five liters, so five quarts of oil. It's actually a little more. They always do a little more. This is five U.S. quarts and about a quarter of a quart big more. So I get this because this bottle locally um, is, I think it's like 70 bucks, 79 bucks for one bottle. And I got four of these bottles for 150 bu 155 bucks. And that's to do the oil changes on that because that car requires this number right there. Five zero or five zero seven zero zero. I don't know why. It's all emission stuff. It's for the diesel particulate filter and a bunch of other junk additives, uh, conditioners, blah blah blah. But anyway, I just got a message back from the person. I'm gonna go pick up some steel. I'm gonna go pick up uh, a gate opener and. Uh, I, don't know, I gotta get this, these days started because they're numbered because I have to travel back and forth. I have to drive back and forth to work because my flights keep getting canceled. So, got laundry going. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna 
do some stuff. I gotta get some stuff done. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to film it all, but I will try. All right, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell notification if you haven't. Um, and uh, give me a like or dislike. Don't matter to me. I ain't gonna hate on nobody. All right, guys. Later.